the knee to the head. So we covered that in some detail. It's not a tedious video, guys, where you think, oh my God, get to the point, show us some technique, tell us how, tell us why. Come on, we give you the answers straight away, all up front, and uh, we don't want anything back from it at all. So, give it a watch, give it a comment, let me know what you think. If it's good, use it. If you don't think it's good, don't use it. But at least you know what we're up to. So, guys, thank you all for all your birthday messages. Yes, that was very nice of you, very kind. And uh, if I haven't replied to you all, or if I haven't liked everybody's birthday wishes, then I apologise, but I'll be honest, they're all over the place, because obviously Chad, wish me happy birthday, baby, wish me happy birthday, everybody wish me happy birthday, then started commenting on all these different things, and I was still finding them like late last night, Facebook just went a bit weird yesterday, so, and I was in the sun, why not as well, it's going to be another nice day today, you make the most of it guys, Seriously, it's going to take a turn for the worse at the weekend, so make the most of the next few days. Now remember, we're going to be here for you throughout the whole duration of this lockdown. So however long that is, I made a commitment right at the beginning. This session will be live and free, Monday to Saturday, 11.30am. This is the second time I was late by a minute today. I was late the other day by two minutes. But generally speaking, guys, I'm always on time. Sometimes a little bit early. So, next, are you ready? We're going to drop that knee to the outside. Happy days. Good. Keep it going. Lovely. Okay. Right. Ditch the broom handle. Roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders forward. Good. One forward, one back. If you can't do this, take them both back. And then one forward, one back. Change. So again, if you can't do this, guys, just take them both forward. <coughs> and when we change, take them both back. Good. Okay. In and then out. So we're going to just make sure those shoulders and that back. It's nice and loose. Hopefully, some of you kind of felt a few muscles in the back. You've not felt for a while after we did the back the day before yesterday. Yesterday was a bit of a hybrid session, but I had some positive feedback, so that's good. Today, it's going to be skipping to begin with, so we're going to do a bit of aerobic work, and we're going to go straight into some more bodyweight exercises. Yep. So. Rotate the waist, five, four, three, two, one, and change, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake them out. On to the floor then, guys. So we're going to go dog legs, grasshoppers, groiners, sprinters, five, four, three, two, one, change, five, four, three, two, one, and change, five, four, three, Two and one, five, four, three, two and one. Okay, so straight into what we call grasshoppers. Left foot to the outside of the left hand. And then change, we can walk these guys or we can jump from one, two, three, four, five, good. And we're gonna go straight into what we call groiners. Both feet, both hands. So you can have your hands flat to the floor or you can lay your knuckles. What you feel comfortable with? I tend to work on my knuckles just because the wrists are always sore from holding the pads. <laughs> Good. Sprinters. Come on, last one. Onto the fingertips, guys. Foot through the centre. And again, you can lift the back side, walk it forward, walk it back, or you can jump. One, two, three, four. Fine. Okay, back up. All right, you know what's coming. I think you do anyway. Feet shoulder width apart, legs straight. So it's a good stretch for the hamstrings. Just walk your hands forward. Pull them into a press up. Walk your hands back, keep the legs straight. 
Stand tall. And back down. Oh my God, yesterday I had a lot of uh, family and friends give me cakes, cookies, chocolate. Oh, my nephew, Fergus, afternoon tea. Mate, for four people. Ridiculous. Still eating it now. Come on. Right guys, grab a quick drink and then we're off. Now if you've injured yourself while we've been off, doing something silly, right, playing on the kids Segway, then uh, <laughs> you're going to have to improvise on some of these exercises. You know, like if you've broken your arm or something like that. I won't mention any names, but there's always something you can do. Many years ago, I had a lady in this class, and it was before I had the eyes lasered, so I couldn't really focus on the lady, but there's a group of people came in quite late and we were doing a bit of a traditional warm-up. Anyway, let's start skipping while I'm telling you the story. So nice and steady. If you haven't got a rope, guys, just improvise, visualise, keep your arms out and pretend you've got a rope, yeah? So just jogging on the spot, put your arms up in the rope, skip in position. Anyway, so this lady came in, didn't really pay much attention to her. She was at the back of the class and making everybody do a traditional wall. And then uh, after about 15 minutes, I walked to the back of the class and introduced myself, asked them what their objectives were. It's a kid in class. And I noticed this lady got one arm. And I said to her, oh, I'm really sorry. And she says, why are you sorry? I said, because, you know, I made you do press-ups. And she said, I did it. Didn't I? And from that point on, I've always looked at everybody as being capable of doing absolutely anything. All right, so, moral of the story is, there are no excuses. And if you look at that lady on the here, Celebrity, I say, as who knows which TV reality show, the Paralympian. Oh my god, she is physically and mentally on a different level to everybody else. Keep it going, guys. <laughs> if you stop, start again. Shake the legs out. Woo! Should have got our heart racing a little bit. Are you ready? Of course we are. Always ready, aren't we? So, ski squat. Hold the position. Imagine we're going down a run. Yep, red run. Black run. So guys, you ready to jump? Good, keep your legs bent, 
Back straight, don't lean over too much. Keep good form. And jump. Come on. Keep that pressure on them legs. And jump. Keep that pressure on them legs. Hold it, come on. One more. Hold it for 10. Come on, the legs are burning. If you've been skiing, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's no option to stop. Head down, let's go. And relax. Fantastic. Now, it's a different way of doing squats. It takes a lot of pressure off the knees, but it puts a lot of effort into the quads. Which, when we do the squat, it's the biggest muscle group we're really trying to fire up. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll just go have a quick drink. I've got a frog in the throat, I do apologise. chest. So, start in the press position, hold, hold, halfway, come on, halfway. All I want you to do, without coming up, yes, move sideways, without coming up, back, you know we've got one more, come on, without coming up, have to come up and make it easier, that's fine too. But try and make it harder, not easier. Hold it, hold it, feet in, and stand back up. Good, just roll your shoulders. <coughs> Excuse me. I know you're not supposed to cough into your hand, but I will wash my hands straight away after. And I'm on my own, so. And before we open this gym to the public, trust me, we're always on top of hygiene anyway, but uh, we're completely fumigated. Right guys, back to the legs. So, we did the ski. Now what we're going to do is what we call the sumo. So, feet wide, about a metre apart. Okay, bend your legs. So... This is good for your quads, but it's really good for your hands, lower glutes. Just hold that position. All we're going to do, guys, we're going to go up and down. But we're only going to go down to what we call 90 degrees. We're going to go up and down. 10, 9, 8, 7, slow, 6, come on, 5, 4, keep the feet flat on the floor, 3, 2, 1, hold it where it burns, not past, just where it burns, good, hold it, we're going to bounce again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, 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 we got this, come on, here, one more set, let's go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, come on, 5, work through it, 4, 3, Two, one, hold guys, for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God, be really careful as you walk your legs in. Now, this is not what we call jumping about, this is what we call isometrics. If you've been training with me for the last eight weeks online, you'll know I love these movements that require control, okay? So, we can create our own resistance and our own force for any exercise that we do. So, depending on what we're training for, will depend on what we actually do. But I like to mix it up. Yeah, so we've got all these muscles, we've got this one body, it's very good to keep it guessing. Keep it guessing what's coming up, what's happening. That way, we're always challenging the muscles. More importantly, we're always challenging ourselves. If we challenge ourselves, we like to achieve a lot more. That's like with anything in life. Here he comes, who's that man running past? I always like to catch him as he's running past. Okay. No prizes for guessing who it was. Could be only one or two people in it. 
because we're used to the isolation uh, mollets. So it could only be, I mean, it could be effy, I suppose. It'd be big for effy. Oh, yep, there he is, there he goes. Right, okay, so just pull a bit more time. So if you want another little drink, have a quick drink. So guys, my legs are starting to really feel it now, but what I want you to do, doesn't matter how much space you've got, let's just consider you've got a metre, right? So that's not a metre that way, and that's not a metre that way, it's half a metre. So we're gonna to step to the left-hand side. We're gonna bend one leg, and we're gonna bounce. Literally, it's what I call speed skating, but I don't want you to just do this. This is easy, right? I want you to bend your leg. So you're literally going down into what we call a single leg squat. And we're gonna do 50. One, two, three. Come on, make it harder. Four, five, six, <clears throat> seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Come on, bend the legs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whose idea was to do 50? That's 20. One, two, three. Four, come on, bend the legs, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, come on, one, two, three, four, bend the legs, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty, that's ten, nine, come on, bend the legs, make it harder, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoa, wow. All these things seem like a good idea at the time. <laughs> you don't hear Joe Wicks talking like this, do you? <laughs> right, are you ready? What do you reckon? Any good? <laughs> okay. Right, so, we're gonna rest the legs just before we come to the core at the end. We're gonna move back to the arms and the chest. So, remember, one meter either side. So, if we haven't got a meter, we've only got half either way, but we're gonna to move to the left hand side. So we've got the space to the right. So we're gonna go forward. Now you can do this off your knees, or you could do it in a traditional press up position, which is what I want you to aim for. All I want you to do, press up, Move across, press up, move across. Good. Don't worry, we're not doing 50. Come on. Keep going. Keep moving. Come on, guys. 10 more. One, two, three. Keep it going. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, come on, nine, ten. Okay, relax. Woo. Now, bearing in mind, we've been smashing out a hundred and we've been really, really mastering the art of the press up. Just by bringing in a bit of variety into our approach and the way we do it, gives us a different workout again. What I mean by different is challenging. Now, for all those fighters out there, these tips and tricks are really, really important. You might think, well, what, I'm a fighter. What, what, what's he gonna tell me today that's gonna help me? Think about it. Challenge yourself, technically, physically, mentally. That way you become prepared for anything. If you're always training the same people, and if those people aren't better than you, you ain't gonna improve, all right? So, harsh as that might sound, you need to speak to your coach, or your coach needs to take you somewhere else to get the quality sparring in. And no disrespect to anybody in the UK, but, you know, when Chad was fighting in K1 and Glory, we used to have to travel to get people to push you. Right, okay, are you ready? Stomach time. Up and across, keeping the hands on the side of the head. Remember, you're gonna make it easier. Let your hands come forward harder. Keep your hands firmly behind your head. 
Or oh, hold your ears. You're going to be here. So go to sit ups. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. V crunch. Ten. Nine. Eight. Sorry. Excuse me. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, arms off the floor. Roll onto your front. Keep your arms off the floor. Roll onto your back. You're going to go both ways. Do not let your arms and your shoulders hit the floor. So try and use your stomach to actually create the roll. Keep them arms and shoulders off the floor, guys. Come on. Try and not use your feet. I was using mine then. So I just literally oh, use that trunk. Good. Come on, last one. All the way around. One more, this time. Good, come on. And relax. Okay, good. Now, if they didn't do the trick, you didn't do it properly. So we've got five minutes. Fantastic. So we're going to carry on with the call and then we're going to finish off with a bit of shadow boxing today. So that could be our cool down. Are you ready? So, whew. feet off the floor, out, in, 10, knees back, nine, knees back further, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, come on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, guys, come on, we got this. We got this, come on. Legs up, up, and over. Imagine you've got a ball directly in front of you, and you've got to go up and over. But the ball's getting bigger, so it's two balls. Lift them higher. All the way, higher, it's three balls. Lift them up, oh yes please. Come on, up and over, come on, big. Come on, big as you can, as high as you can. Up and change, up and change, up. Oh, brilliant, well done. I'm back. Woo, yeah, some of you guys have just come on, you're late. It's not a problem, as long as you do the workout. And remember, if you want to get the tips and tricks, you need to watch all the way through, because I ain't repeating it. A very wise man once said to me, I'm going to say this once. So if you can't remember it, write it down. And I don't know if any of you understand the benefits of writing something down and saying it out loud, but it helps you to remember stuff. And uh, I'm not going to give you the answers now, but there's a way your brain works where... In essence, I'm going to give you the answer. But if you do two forms of basically say it, read it, write it, you pretty much got it boxed off and it's there. And you won't ever forget it. Right, okay. What we got? Still got loads of time. The clock's going so slow today. Look, because I'm struggling a lot. <laughs> That's what you call laying down on the jump. Listen, I'll do anything to get a little bit of a breather. So here we go, guys. If anybody complains about today's session, do all the sessions every day, every, every week, and then complain. Because you know when we train, there used to be a thing called train hard, fight easy. In my book, it's train smart, fight easy. And it says it on that banner behind. And that's because sometimes we need a, a smart day, not just a hard day, all right? Okay, here we go. So we're going to do what we call V-split. Legs out, hands forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I can fill those cakes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Okay. Right, guys. We haven't finished. Coach is just recovering. Right, here. 
Legs out flat, arms up near. Chest out. Good. Try and keep your backside on the floor. Try not to rock. Try and literally keep your arms in the same place all the time. Don't let them come forward, don't let them come back. The only time they come forward is when you start sitting up. You should be directly above your head all the time. Look at them if it helps. Definitely makes it harder. If you want to make it easier, that's a lot easier. Yeah. Harder, keep them there. Ooh, three more. Lost cat. Two more. Last one. Oh my word. So yesterday, had a bad day food-wise. And you know what? Felt quite good at the time, but today it feels terrible, if I'm honest. Ugh. So, there's a famous saying out there, you are what you eat. But food is fuel. It sounds a bit corny, but it's so, 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 so true. You put, I was gonna swear, but you put a bad diesel or a bad petrol into your car, and it will, it will struggle to really, really, really be one economical or two, be smooth in transition. Put a good petrol in, a good diesel, and it'll run nice. And there you go. So, what you put in will definitely help what you put out. Right, now, we've not got long left, so we're gonna do a bit of shadow. You ready? So this is our cool down today, guys. So just start going through your different punches. Now some of your legs are gonna be aching. I know my legs are aching a little bit, and we'll probably do a little stretch too, just with the muscle groups that might be struggling a little bit. But I want you to just kind of move around, do kick up, so yeah, good, good, good. See the next one. Oh, just. I don't know if that was a floor on me. Good. But it should be nice and steady now, guys, because we're just cooling down. We're not trying to break any records. We're going to rotate the ways. Keep your technique good. Whether you're warming up or cooling down, you should still have good technique. We should just be lowering the intensity. So, oh, another tip, another trick. A little guide into how we train here at Sully Gym. Stretch out the quads, guys, because mine are definitely tight. So push your hips forward, pull your leg behind. Lovely. And change. Woo. Again, push your hips forward. Good. Lean forward. Support the bottom of your back. Nice right angle, good, and then just push hips forward, and then over, and then over, good, shake them out. So guys, watch out on Sunny Gym TV for Technique of the Week, and um, I was promising you to put some more fights up, but uh, somebody very kindly, I don't have very many copies of my fights, and somebody very kindly put them onto a, or well, some of them, the ones that they had, onto a disc. And she's probably watching, she's gonna kill me, but I misplaced the disc. But I am absolutely rubbish when it comes to fights. So if I get it, I'll get it digitized and put on YouTube. If you haven't already seen it, the world title wins on there. What more can I say? I'm trying my best. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Tal, lots of love to you, sir. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Be interested to see what the announcement is uh, uh, on Sunday. But remember, guys, we've just got to follow those guidelines, whatever they are. Stay safe. Lots of love. See you later. And thank you for all the birthday wishes. Wishes, even.